High Voltage Ignition Destruct App, creating both high voltage and high frequency. Simultaneously, the straight conductor of the metal rod carrying electricity to the spark gap emits electrical radiation, which is radiant energy. This type of radiant energy consists of rays directed toward the center of the metal rod attached to the ignition head, plasma. Edwin V. Gray used a special copper matrix grid to collect this type of energy. The result is cold electricity, where the load is cooled when using this energy instead of being heated. In 1901, Nikola Tesla mentioned high-voltage cathode rays and high-voltage cathode rays emitting electrical radiation that could be received through an aluminum plate antenna, his radiant energy patent. This was the fourth type of receiver in the patent. Essentially, Edwin V. Gray's system works on the same principles described by Tesla. What's unique is that Edwin V. Gray never mentioned Nikola Tesla during his discovery of cold electricity. Similarly, Tesla never spoke of cold electricity. However, Gray died under mysterious circumstances, fueling speculation that he may have been assassinated. This raises suspicions that Edwin V. Gray was tapping into a different academic discipline with the same roots as Tesla's. It is possible that Nikola Tesla and Edwin V. Gray studied the same curriculum, which involved ether electricity physics. This is an ancient science associated with the lost Tartaria Empire. The dominance of the New World Order is seen as the replacement and takeover of Tartaria. This is an intriguing lost history theme, so suggesting that much of orthodox goes, history is a fabrication, there, akin to historical there. fiction. Yeah. Edwin V. Gray's free coil. energy device it's can be successfully coil. built if the principles point. of the circuit are followed, so including the correct indexing of electronic components. The classic version of Edwin V. Down. Gray's invention was a groundbreaking development for the electronics the industry. Green, the green At the time, Gray did not have access to modern oscillators and very short up. pulse controllers with digital displays like we do today. Instead, he used electromechanical devices. Gray's cold electricity circuit has two outputs, one dedicated to the load consuming cold electricity and another that feeds into a battery bank, which can be used to power an inverter to create AC current. If you want to use cold electricity for electrotherapy, you will need additional knowledge to apply it. DC motors and electrical equipment that consume DC electricity are compatible with cold electricity. Therefore, the two output mode should be used. The complete technical details of Edwin V. Gray's cold electricity radiant energy generator are detailed in the overunity generator. You can check out both classic and modern schematics, as well as instructions on how to build it. Wishing you success in your creation, and good luck!